dry as a freaking infested fungal log. I, that doesn't even make any sense. Yo, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and click on that notification bell, and make sure to click all. And yes, I did subscribe to myself. <laughs> What is up guys, Venge Plays here bringing you another video, but before I get into the gameplay, it's time for Aussie Venge to bring us that news. Take it away, buddy. What is up guys, Aussie Venge here bringing you some news from the Outback, and this is very disheartening news for Mario fans and our hero Mario alike, because on March 31st, 2021, our beloved Super Mario 3D All-Stars is no longer going to be sold physically or digitally, so for you younger kiddos out there, you definitely want to make sure to get your hands on this game before it's gone, because if you have not experienced Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, or Super Mario Galaxy, oh man, that's a whole lot of supers. You definitely want to take part in this super deal before it's gone. Now, I don't understand why Super Mario Bros. 35 is going to be getting kicked off of the Switch eShop because we all know that Nintendo Online is total garbage and it needs as many features possible to entice people into getting Nintendo Online. I mean, Super Mario Bros. 35 is a really good take on an old classic from many, many, many years ago. I'm talking about back a couple years before I, I was even born. I'm talking about my age now. So that really sucks. And then what sucks even more for those of you that are fans of Super Mario Maker, now I'm talking about the very first game, the online services for Super Mario Maker is going to be shut down and that's a big suck. Especially for those of you that are fans of Super Mario Maker. Now, Super Mario Maker 2 is going to be just fine since that is a Switch title and it's a newer title. But when it comes to Mario Maker on the poor Wii U, the Wii U is getting gutted like a guppy because it's out of here. And so that's it from Aussie Venge and I'm bringing it back to you, Venge Plays. Get those W's, my boy. Aussie Venge, signing out. Hey, LC Vinge, thank you so much. We're going to get that W, and so why don't we go ahead and get into it. And you know what? It is... Hold up. Yeah, my headset was a bit... <clears throat> yeah, my headset was a bit loud. But yeah, that's... That news is disheartening. I knew about that news for a minute, and I'll tell you, man, it absolutely sucks. And you know what? I see Venge was right, man. The Nintendo Online, they f I feel like they could have done so much more with that. And it just sucks. It, it really does suck. And Nintendo isn't making it any better by doing what they're doing, right? They're not making it any better right now, and they gotta get that spit. They gotta get that spit correct, man. They gotta auto-correct that spit. They really gotta get their act together, man, because, like, man, dude. I mean, the fact that, I don't know, Nintendo has just been making a lot of weird moves. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I feel like they made some weird moves. I understand that they're trying to push their product. Especially when it comes to the older games. Because, like, the newer generation never got a chance to play those games or know nothing about those games. So they want to increase that rev. But as far as that other stuff, man, Mario 35, I feel like they dropped the ball on Mario 35, too. Especially with that stupid 1-1, um, 1-2 one -dash -one -one -dash loop. I feel like they really do need to fix that spit because that crap is annoying. Like, I enjoy the game, but I feel like if if this game was designed to have a little bit more competition, like, ugh, I missed. <laughs> they need to make sure that that stuff is on point as possible. But funny thing about Nintendo and online stuff, it seems like it's always an afterthought with them, right? They don't really think it through. They don't really think a whole lot about balance and things of that nature. So, I mean, it's almost like a given. You shouldn't expect too much when it comes to online. 
Just like how that new Mario Party that came out a long time ago. Um, and I was like, I had high hopes that they was gonna include, uh, and the star went the other way. I always get trolled with that, I swear. I was assuming that they was gonna have online for that, and they didn't have online, so I was like, nope, can't be me. I'm not getting that game now, like, they don't have a full-on online for the new Mario Party. Fudge that, bro. I don't got, ain't nobody got time for that spit. I know I don't got time for it. You're not gonna include online for it. That would have been huge. Uh, who? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take my anger out on you. There we go. Oh, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> so, I mean, man, it's a big suck situation, man. You hate to see that. You really hate to see that as like a Nintendo fan. And I know I hate to see it. If somebody loves to see it, something's wrong with them, because I don't love to see this these kinds of things happen. Especially Mario getting this kind of treatment. I would expect that from Sonic, <laughs> but I wouldn't expect it from Mario. Sorry, Sonic, I had to burn you, man, because you know what? Sonic is a dried up mascot. I mean, like, I used to be a Sonic fan, but the content for Sonic is just dry. Dry as a freaking infested fungal log. I, that doesn't even make any sense, but whatever. That's just how I freaking feel about it, bro. <laughs> oh, man, dude. I mean, really, I just hope Nintendo kind of, like, chills with some of the things that they're doing. It's like, I don't want this to become a reoccurring issue. I mean, like, what I love Nintendo, but one of the biggest issues with Nintendo is how conservative they are. They're a very stubborn bunch. But despite that, one thing that I will give Nintendo a lot of credit for is the kind of games that they do dish out. I mean, it's so crazy how creative their games are. And, you know, like, it's, it's, a kind, it's the kind of games where it's good, it's cool to, for everyone to play, right? I mean, and it's crazy. Nintendo has a way of giving us... There's always something for everybody. There's something for the young. There's something for the old. There's something for the adults. I mean, there's a lot there. And I was thinking Nintendo was finally uh, chilling out with their conservative ways, especially with some of the games that they've been that they've been, um, you know, adding to their console library. I was thinking they was getting away from that conservatism. But uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that's not the case. They're, they're still conservative. And they're still doing weird things sometimes. But you know what? Hey, that's the reality about the world that we live in. It's like... The companies are going to do what they feel is right, and when it comes to Nintendo, that's just how they are. Ugh, I always sucked at these. Don't ask me why I suck at this. <laughs> I always suck at this! I don't know why I suck at that. It's, it's the weirdest thing. I, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. I think something's rigged. That's what I think. I think something is freaking rigged. 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 Why did I take, why did I, uh, I don't even know what, bro. Why did I, you know what? <laughs> I, I have no words for what just happened right there. I have no words. Mario 3. Mario 3 is one of my faves just because Mario 3 was the game that actually got me into Mario games in the first place. Game was freaking hard when I was younger. But, you know, when I was playing it back then. Super hard for me. But I played it over and over and over and over and over no matter what. It was just fun, right? <laughs>